Our next story comes from Malaysia, where a major controversy has erupted. It features what's been called Allah socks, socks with the word Allah on them. They were being sold in Malaysia by a convenience store chain called KK Supermart. Needless to say, this has sparked outrage. Some people believe the socks have insulted Islam and they've responded with violence. Three outlets of KK Supermart have been attacked with petrol bombs. The owner of the store has apologized, but the tensions continue to rise. So much so that now Malaysia's prime minister has been dragged into the row. That's Anwar Ibrahim, now under pressure to restore order. Here's a report. These stores in Malaysia were attacked by an angry mob wielding petrol bombs. And it all happened because of a pair of socks. The controversy has now escalated. It's now threatening to consume the government of Prime Minister Anwar Ibrahim. It all started with a few social media posts. They featured a photograph, bundles of socks bearing the word Allah on them. Allegedly, these socks were up for sale at three outlets of the KK Supermart. The photographs fanned public anger. Politicians called for a boycott of the stores. Among them was Akmal Saleh. He heads the youth wing of the UMNO a political party that's part of the ruling coalition. Saleh's critics say that his statements fanned public anger and sparked the violent attacks on the stores. He's now being investigated for sedition, but the situation is far from contained. This week, Chai Ki Khan, the founder of the KK Supermart, met with the Malaysian king. He offered an apology. However, it failed to sway the king. Reports say the king told Chai Ki Khan that his business should have been more careful. How did the socks end up in his stores? Chai is blaming a Chinese supplier. His company received thousands of pairs. Chai claims when they found these socks, they pulled them from the shelves. Despite those efforts, 14 pairs still remained on sale at three outlets. Along with the public outrage, Chai faces a legal battle now. He has been accused of hurting religious feelings. In response, Chai has sued his Chinese supplier. Prime Minister Ibrahim has tried to defuse the situation. He issued a statement on Facebook. He asked all parties involved to take responsibility, but also warned them from taking advantage of the situation. But Ibrahim's appeal failed to move the needle. The Prime Minister's position is precarious. He relies on leaders like Akmal Saleh for support from the majority Malay Muslims. But his coalition is also backed by politicians who represent the ethnic Chinese. They are a minority community in Malaysia and they want the Prime Minister to restore peace. This puts Anwar Ibrahim on a collision course, with leaders like Akmal Saleh who has refused to back down or withdraw his call for a boycott of the KK Supermart. The situation is fragile. The police say they have stepped up patrols around all outlets of the KK Supermart. But they are yet to arrest any of the perpetrators who hurled the petrol bombs. The crisis presents a real challenge for Anwar Ibrahim and his government.